Here's a critter that's been in the news recently, the raccoon. A lot of people think they're lovable, cuddly, fun. Hey, they also carry rabies, which has been a problem recently because uh, nobody's really trapping or hunting raccoons anymore. The fur prices are down. But these raccoons also do a lot of damage to waterfowl populations throughout North America, so they're getting to be a problem. Muskrats here, you see them in marshes all over the place. They don't really cause a problem, but they're, they're an important fur bearer. Uh, a beaver. Here we got a nice beaver from... Uh, from some folks. In fact, the people we got these from are Jim Christie from Standish Marathon Truck Plaza up in Standish and John Nicodemus from the Standish Sunrise Cafe. They had these mounts and they wanted a good home for them, so we have them here at the museum. Now here's a mount right here. If you don't know what this is, it's not a ferret. It's, it's, it's a, in the weasel family. It's a mink. Now mink are another important fur bearer. Mink coats, of course, highly valued. But mink are vicious little critters and they steal. They steal fish. You don't believe it? Watch this home video. You're on a dock, you have a bucket of fish, and there's this long, slinky critter with its head in your fish bucket. Do you know what it is? Well, that's a mink, a member of the weasel family that's, well, it's usually very secretive and has a nasty disposition to boot. But unlike most mink, this one has become accustomed to humans. It's learned that fishermen put their fish in buckets. And since mink like to eat fish, this one learned that the easiest way to get a meal is to raid a bucket of fish on the dock. So it does. But when it makes a clumsy jump from the dock, it loses the rock bass. One falls on one side of the rock, one on the other. But the mink bounces back in a flash and then it fiddled around in the weeds. I'm gonna tell you something though, it, it gave up on that fish, went back to the bucket for another one. Now, you can see people standing in the background. They're standing by that fish bucket. But this mink that is usually very secretive is evidently overcome with a lust for food and doesn't care that people are standing around. It's hit a bonanza and doesn't want to stop carrying these fish off and stashing them until that bucket is empty. It must be starving to death, huh, Joe? Ann Bischoff was next to her husband, Scott, who took this video. Their son, Joe, caught these fish on the 2nd of September, 1990, up in Cedarville in the UP, right off of Grandma's dock. Now, this mink took five fish in all, stashed them somewhere, and finally depleted the stock. So what's this mink thinking? Oh, where'd they go? I know these guys caught more fish than this. I wonder where those other fish are. I wonder if they have a bucket on the other side of the dock. Hmm, nope. Just one fish bucket, and there's nothing left in here. Hmm, fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell a fish, and I want one. Smells like fish around here. In fact, this whole dock smells like a fish market. There's got to be one someplace. What do these people do? Step on fish and squish them into the boards? I know there's more fish around here someplace. Hmm, where are they? Oh, oh, hold it. I know where there's a fish. I dropped one when I took that big dive off the dock. I bet it's still there. Well, thanks to Scott Bischoff from Mulliken for this home video of a mink pulling a heist on a bucket of fish.